So here we are setting up for the pet show. And I think this will be a really, really good opportunity for any of the exhibitors that are here today because the amount of exhibitors that the industry has shown up hasn't been terribly impressive. And considering we're talking about volumes of something like 20,000 people coming through this show, that means that the brands that are here are likely to get very good exposure because the previous show, for example, had a much bigger turnout by the industry. Now, there's many reasons why less people in the industry might be here, but in saying that, um, if you're the one that are here and they get 20,000 people, then that's a whole lot of eyes to see your products and familiarize themselves with your products. And in previous shows, such as this show last year, when there was a lot more people, then it's much harder to get individual attention. So I think the people that have come this year and they've put the effort in, I think they're going to, um, bloody fish sticks. I just can't stop looking at these things. Um, I think the people that have actually come here, I think that they'll get very good bang for buck. So it's all slowly coming together. See you Paul. Anyway, just comment on this post. Tell us what you think. And if you're in Melbourne, then pop on down to the pet show. It'll be an awesome day. This is the aquarium section. It's only just getting set up. Also, don't forget, we've got the Aqua One PIAA exhibitor drinks, and that will be on Saturday night here at the Melbourne Pet Show. So, wonderful chance to get amongst it, hang out with other people in the industry, and hopefully next year, more of you guys will get involved, because I think this is gonna be a really great opportunity to put your brand in front of 20,000 people. Sydney did it very well.